largest or the tallest? The tallest indoor waterfall in the whole world. All right, let's hope this goes better than yesterday. Yes. <laughs> Seatbelt system. I was wearing my seatbelt. Yesterday we flew from New York to Da Nang, Vietnam, and we had one of the best flights of our entire life. We even had a birthday party in first class. Happy birthday. But once we landed in Da Nang, our luck changed, and we got in our first car accident abroad. Uh. Uh, thankfully, we are totally fine, and it could have been a lot worse. We're just a little bit sore today. And after one short night in Vietnam, we are continuing this crazy travel week and flying to Brisbane, Australia. Unfortunately, we are moving back to economy class. However, we are still super excited about today's travel day because we have a five-hour layover in the Changi Airport, which has been voted the best airport in the world four years in a row. Plus, there is a new $1.3 billion addition called The Jewel that we will be visiting today. And we can't wait, let's go. We discovered these massage chairs last time we were at this airport and we seriously left to come to the airport way earlier than we needed to just to sit in these. If I ever needed a massage chair, today was the day. Oh, it's so good. Like, there are some chairs that just kind of like blah, 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 the whole time, but this one like really gets in there. So our ticket said the plane boarded an hour before departure, but then it also said that the doors didn't close until 10 minutes before departure, so we thought we'd just take our time. And for the first time ever, we were collected by a Singapore Airline employee from the lounge to go to the game. All right, three hours to Singapore. We tried the middle seat trick this time, so, so far so good. There are like no other empty seats on this one. That's for now. Once again, enjoy the flight in the flight service. Thank you very much for choosing so good today. It's official. So far, I am super impressed with Singapore Airlines. In addition to a So it turns out that the jewel is not actually inside of the airport, so we just had to go through immigration and actually enter the country of Singapore, which leaves us not very much time. There was actually a sign when we got off the airplane that says if you're going to the jewel, you need at least five hours, and we only have four and a half. inside of the jewel and it kind of feels like we're in this giant glass donut but we've learned that the reason we actually had to enter the country is because they built the jewel so they could be used by residents of singapore and people who are passing through the airport so it's just pretty much like this combination between a rainforest and a mall where anybody can just come hang out we don't have a ton of time but we've done a little bit of research so our plan right now is to see as much of this place as possible and share the highlights with you waterfall in the whole world. It is 40 meters tall and all of the water comes from recycled rainwater. And then when there's excess rain, they use it to water all the plants. We're going to be going up and down a lot of escalators today because this entire place is 10 stories. Five stories above ground, the giant glass donut that you see, and then five stories below ground. There are four stories of rainforest with walking trails that can take up to 30 minutes, which we should probably take advantage of since we have either been sitting on a plane, in a car, or in a hotel for the last five days. This waterfall even continues underground. There is also a hotel, more specifically the Yotel, which if it's anything like the one in London, kind of feels like you're staying in a futuristic spaceship. Oh, this is cozy. What? 
but oh no. There is an IMAX movie theater with 11 screens. Nice. A very short elevator. Escalator. That too. The world's only Pokemon store outside of Japan, which apparently is pretty popular. Massages. An entire supermarket. Futuristic cycling class that's not quite open yet. Tons of shopping. According to the internet, there are actually 280 retail outlets. Good thing we don't have time for that. This is also home to the first Shake Shack in all of Singapore, and that's what all of these people are waiting in line for. That's crazy. Another cool thing that we've learned about this place is that that train that you see driving back and forth beside the waterfall actually allows you to see the jewel without leaving the airport. So you can board the train in a secure area in the airport, ride through, see the jewel, and head straight back to the airport without going through immigration. Okay, our time is up at the Jewel and it's time for us to sprint back to the airport. Final thoughts. Um, if you have a really long layover and you don't have lounge access, definitely worth going to check out. If you just need somewhere to go walk around, you want to be around a lot of plants, also a good place. If you want to eat at like one of 200 restaurants, good place to go. I think if you are coming or going, it's definitely worth stopping to on the way in or out. However, there is one thing that the Jewel doesn't have and that's free food and drink, which is why I've come back here a little bit early and gone to the lounge. Thank you for not falling. Please be recorded. I totally forgot this lounge has a make your own water station. For free. How's that water? Tastes free. <laughs> Now we have an eight hour flight to Australia. Might. <laughs> this is the business class cab. I think someone's vaping in business class. Oh no, it's the hot towels being handed out. I saw the steam from the hot towels in business class and I was jealous. But we are legitimately getting handed hot towels in economy class. Thank you. We've ever gotten a dinner menu in economy class. Have we? This is fancy. My expectations were so low for today's travel day after being in business class for so long. <laughs> Very happy right now. Ice cream. Tons of drinks. Lunch. Maggie beer ice cream. Like a weird breakfast dish. Very impressive. I'm looking forward to the next eight hours. Especially because the seat is ours. Give us your attention as we bring you through this important safety briefing and on a journey through Singapore. Seven hours later. Thank you. All right, we have officially entered Australia and we are gonna end today's video here. However, this is not the end of our travels. The travels continue. <laughs> we have one quick night in a hotel and then we'll be back at this airport tomorrow morning. I think this is the longest journey of our entire lives. That sounds long, we've had some long ones. It's gonna be worth it. One point three billion, oh, okay. one point three billion dollar edition called the Crystal. You weren't being serious. <laughs> Were you being serious? The diamond. The jewel. The jewel. <laughs> Were you being serious? <laughs> Doing this crazy travel day. Ow. <laughs> well, now at this time. There's also a hair in my mouth that I was thinking about the whole time. Yeah. Please don't fall, please don't fall, please don't fall. Not excited yet. Not excited. Not excited. <laughs> I tragically left my very expensive headphones 
on our last business class flight. Dun, dun, dun. And now Kara's insisting that I wear hers. Long enough that I finally give in. And it's a very kind gesture, but I feel very guilty. Ha, 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 ha.